And now a poem by the master, uh, Garcia Lorca. I have an essay, actually it was a talk I wrote for Christopher Maurer years ago about finding in Garcia Lorca the inspiration to write my own poetry. And it's in a book that I'm sure several of you, three or four, have read uh, called The Bread of Time. It's called The Poet in New York in Detroit. And this was the poem that sponsored my own poetry and continues to sponsor it. It's called New York Offices and Denunciations to Fernando Vela. Under the multiplications, a drop of duck's blood. Under the divisions, a drop of sailor's blood. Under the additions, a river of tender blood, a river that sings and flows past bedrooms in the boroughs. And it's money, cement or wind in New York's counterfeit dawn. I know the mountains exist, and wisdom's eyeglasses, too. But I didn't come to see the sky. I'm here to see the clouded blood, the blood that sweeps machines over waterfalls and the soul toward the cobra's tongue. Every day in New York, they slaughter four million ducks, five million hogs, 2,000 pigeons to accommodate the tastes of the dying, one million cows, one million lambs, and two million roosters that smash the skies to pieces. It's better to sob while honing the blade or kill dogs on the delirious hunts than to resist at dawn the endless milk trains, the endless blood trains, and the trains of roses manacled by the dealers in perfume. The ducks and the pigeons and the hogs and the lambs lay their drops of blood under the multiplications, and the terrified bellowing of the cows wrung dry fills the valley with sorrow where the Hudson gets drunk on oil. I denounce everyone who ignores the other half, the half that can't be redeemed, who lift their mountains of cement where the hearts beat inside forgotten little animals, and where all of us will fall in the last feast of pneumatic drills. I spit in all your faces. The other half hears me, devouring, pissing, flying in their purity like the super's children in lobbies who carry fragile twigs to the emptied spaces where the insect antennae are rusting. This is not hell, but the street, not death, but the fruit stand. There is a world of broken rivers and distances just beyond our grass in the cat's paw smashed by a car. And I hear the earthworm song in the hearts of many girls. Rust, fermentation, quaking earth. You yourself are the earth as you drift in office numbers. What shall I do now? Set the landscape in order. Order the loves that soon become photographs, that soon become pieces of wood and mouthfuls of blood. No, no, I denounce it all. I denounce the conspiracy of these deserted offices that radiate no agony, that erase the forest plans. And I offer myself as food for the cows wrung dry when their bellowing fills the valley where the Hudson gets drunk on oil. <laughs>